Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. Today we're taking a look at a game called Rush Out. Rush Out is a speed game from Sit Down in which a bunch of heroes are fighting against an evil sorcerer. So this is a two to five player game where one person is going to be rolling dice as fast as they can and everybody else is going to be rolling dice as fast as they can. Here's how it plays. Okay, so in this game, there's always, it has to be at least two players, but there's always going to be two teams. One person is essentially playing the evil overlord, and the other people are going to play heroes. So you can play a certain number of heroes. The main thing that's going to do is it's going to change the cards in the hero deck. So you'll see this card is only used when you're playing four or more players, or five or five players. Now, five players means there are four heroes and one overlord. Now after that, the game has a whole lot of different modules. So we're just going to talk a little bit about the basic idea of the game. When the game starts, both players or both teams are going to be rolling their dice as fast as they can. Each of the heroes will have a set of three dice of different colors and the overlord has a set of five dice. These dice have different symbols on them that are going to match various elements as well as a wild symbol. Now for the heroes, their wild symbol is the same as whatever element they're good at. So for example, this guy is a fire guy, so his wilds count as fire. For the overlord, there's going to be cards face up on the board, and any card that shows one of these symbols on, the overlord symbols will count. So my, if I'm playing the overlord, my wild symbols can be water or the plants here. Now, as I said, the heroes are always going to have this pre-built deck. The Overlord's deck is going to be made up of different types based on what scenario. You'll shuffle them together, you'll see the type of cards at the back, and then you're going to have some cards that are face up in front of you, and you'll notice that they have different types on them. Uh, there's two different things on each of these, and one side will face the Overlord, the other side will face the heroes. So once you start going, you're going to roll dice as fast as you can. And as you roll dice, you can place these dice on matching things here. And I, I didn't get what I wanted, so I re-roll as fast as I can. There's another water. I'm going to roll as fast as I can. Nothing. I keep rolling. Both sides are doing this at the same time. Now the heroes, ah, I can use this as water because the spider's out, which lets me do it as water. Now each card will do different things when the overlord completes them. This card, for example, gets put on top of the hero's deck and it adds another card that they have to do. This card, when I finish it, will take a dragon token and move it one spot towards the heroes and they are going to have to stop the dragon from getting to the end or else the heroes will lose. But there are also cards that will give heroes treasure, there are magic spells to be gotten, and all the cards will do different things. But mostly, the bad guys' cards are going to affect the heroes by adding cards to their deck, moving a dragon, doing negative things like that. Meanwhile, the heroes are just trying to finish their deck. You finish your deck, you win. And you do that by finishing these cards. And so you'll notice, say, five cards. No one hero can do these alone most of the time, unless you're playing a single one, in which case these cards aren't even in the deck. Uh, they would be you know, cards like this, and you would be using two heroes. Um, but you're filling these up, and only two players can work on one at a time. So once it's filled up, that card's gone. And then you're going to pull the next card from the pile, which let's say it was this negative card the bad guy did. Now we need to do this. And that is the whole game. Now there's a lot of scenarios, and there's a lot of different tokens. These are colored tokens to show what player is what. There's going to be trophies and stuff, because the rule book itself comes with a bunch of scenarios. It starts you off very basic, but as you play each scenario, it will tell you what the bad guy has, the sorcerer. Um, here's the different spells. You use five confusion, five summoning, five trackology spells, four dissipation spells, and four curse spells. And then you, you're mixing all those together, and that's your deck. And then it will explain each of the rules. Each one adds a few more rules until you get to the final ordeal, the last one, which pretty much has all the rules. And you can mix and match what you want to do. Alrighty, so there's no question that this is a speed game. If you don't like rolling dice fast, 
don't play this game. Yeah. Does that seem legit? Yes. Uh, so, what did you think of what? Like, what are your initial thoughts about the game? Because there was one word you used a lot when we were talking about this game. Stress. Yeah. <laughs> did you feel stress? Oh uh, yeah. So mostly about the dragon, though. Yeah, that was definitely the biggest one. Because it'd be the pain. We're trying to get our cars down, then suddenly the dragon's right next to our deck. Are you kidding me? I, it, it's really interesting. I don't know which side is more interesting to play because for the heroes, they're just deciding which card to defeat. Um, and if the dragon's out there, there's a special card for the dragon, and you roll dice for that, and you push the dragon back one spot. We're, but we're just trying to not get attacked. Sure. As as you get farther in the scenarios, there's more options. Uh, do we want to get a piece of equipment? Do we want to do this? The overlord or the sorcerer has more options. They're picking which cards. If you like one of my favorite cards, it will say knock a die off a card. So the heroes put a die, and you need to just take the die off the card. That was That's so rude. Yeah, I screamed. <laughs> rude. I'm an evil sorcerer. Rudeness <laughs> is my middle name. Actually, it's my second middle name. My first middle name is evil. <laughs> um, so there's that. Now you said it was stressful. Did the stress make you not like it? No, it made the game interesting, honestly. If it was like it's kind of in the middle, it didn't really do anything to really do anything to the game. But then again, it didn't really make me happy or anything. <laughs> Did you get tired of rolling dice? No, no. You were horrible at first. You took forever. Shh. I'm not used to being pressured. Are you talking to me or her? Her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like the very first game of this, I'm pretty sure the sorcerer won, is what I remember. Well, we destroyed you this uh, so th 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 <laughs> Okay, and that's the thing, though. You can play this a bunch of times in a row, but I'll tell you, after about two, three games, I was a little tired of rolling dice. I was like, oh, okay. It's the same thing over and over again. And, I mean, honestly, even though this game has a lot of different trappings, and you can do this and move the dragon, at the end of the day... It's roll dice as fast as you possibly can. <laughs> um, and yes, there's lots of variations on that, and it's fun. But for me, it's the kind of game where I go, that was really fun. Now let's go play something else. We'll come back and play this in a while. <laughs> um, I don't know that it offered anything super new other than the interaction between the players. Did you like playing on the same team as each other? Yeah, it definitely gave us a higher advantage because we were rolling, like, more dice than you, I guess. Well, you had six dice, because we played a three-player game, so they each had three dice, and I only had five Although dice. Although, if you are going to work on a team, be cooperative. Otherwise, you're all just going to be doing different cards. And four hands are better than two. <laughs> sure, but I also had better cards. Like, my card, when I finish it, will go on your deck. Or my annoying. card makes you flick your dice off your card. That was also annoying. And my cards move the dragon towards you. That was also annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Whose child is this? Okay, so... And then, and then there's other cards that even do more annoying things and confusion spells and all kinds of stuff. So, honestly, the recommendation for me is do you like rolling dice fast? Because if you don't, go play a different game. But if you do, you might enjoy this. What's your final thoughts and rating? Um, yes, there's a lot of stress, especially for me. I am not used to that in games of taking things slow and steady. But overall, I did enjoy playing the game, and I might play it again. Who knows? So number? Eight, I guess. Wow, that's pretty high. All right. I enjoyed the game. The um, fact I liked about the game is I didn't have to wait for my turn and wait for Ruby to make it like a thousand choices. <laughs> um, I did like, like, the stress part was, it was terrifying, but also kind of fun at the same time. Like, it put, it made the game a bit more interesting and harder for each team. Well, not for you. You just had to, like, give us cards. It was hard for me. I was stressed. <laughs> Not as much. <laughs> anyway, I'd probably give like maybe a 7.5. Okay. So for me, I thought it was enjoyable, but it's not what I want to play all the time. I'd give this a 6.5 for me, which is still good-ish. I'll play it. But I just felt like I've seen it before, and after we play it three, four, five times, I'm like, eh, I'll play it again in a couple years or something like that. But <laughs> years, you'll probably forget it by then. You don't know that! I play the same game hundreds of times in a row. So that's the Dice Tower <laughs> review of Rush Out. Um, so check it out if you like games where there's competitive team dice rolling, of, of which case there's not that many of them, actually. Um, check it out. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. Have fun rolling dice.